Hey guys, Justin from Simplified Messy. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. This is our weekly watch list video highlighting a few stocks we're watching as well as a key market breakdown. Enjoy. So for those of you who have watched our previous videos, the first thing I'm going to be doing is breaking down the market, I'm going to be using SPY, then we'll touch a little bit on the Russell, go into the VIX, and then we'll go into a few individual names. Breaking down SPY here, nice gap up, nice continuation. You get this big bullish bar, inside bar, trying to break out here, and then we get this inside bar, very, very narrow here on low volume on Friday, as expected heading into the holiday and a half day. So where do we go from here? I'm watching this really key area around 456. You can see it's basically a triple top termed support, and then we filled this gap, or we created this gap, filled it here now we're testing this 456 area so any momentum and strength over this area i do think we have room to fill back up into that 459.44 area going to be using friday's high and low so if we do zoom in on a shorter time frame here right around 455.59 and then that 454.80 support i'm going to be using those as inflections looking for puts to the downside below in calls overhead targeting that key 456 area so you can see we tried to do we broke we had this flag pattern pushed up prior day high which is going to be that 456 38 area from this day we rejected and then stuffed this lower watching these levels here as key and we'll move these up here so we have those proper areas they will be key here in the coming day so watching this on monday watching that continuation long for that inside bar breakout, if we do get a breakdown below the lows on trending strength to the downside, we'll closely be eyeing puts here on this name. Now, for an individual or, or for a uh, indice standpoint, forward slash RTY is the Russell 2000 futures. It's really good for small caps. It, it measures those smaller cap companies, excluding things like obviously the mega caps that have been carrying the market, Microsoft, Amazon, um, Meta, all of those. What I see here is we get this push up, very strong bullish bar on 1114, breaking this prior uh, downtrend here that we had on the daily chart. You can see this nice wedge, nice breakdown, higher low, nice net new high, breaking this high, pull back, hold this support here. Now we're forming this consolidation. Over this 1813.50 area, I'm watching the long targeting 1837.70. That is a crucial, crucial level. So you can see where we get this level from. A reject, turn support, turn support, support, support. And then we come back in and we test this level for liquidity. Reject, stuff this lower. Now we're holding up, which is nice. Two higher lows here. So sell off, bought in, sell off, bought in. Higher low here off of this level for that continuation move to the upside. Any trending strength over 1813.50, I'm going to be targeting that 1837.70 area. Nice uh, trend line break here. If we do draw this trend line, let's just draw this for an example. Nice trend line break here from the highs off of these prior two highs here. Similar to that prior trend line that we had over here. Nice break, nice retest, nice push up here. Now when we go into the VIX, the VIX has been heavily selling off. 52 week lows you guys remember last week i told you watch that 13 area support when we do zoom in on the shorter time frame you can see its importance it's, it's holding as a strong level so if we do get a big bounce expecting that to uh reject here now that we are trading below it but super strong selling pressure we got this move up and now we're just selling off selling off selling off a lot of it's the market anticipating lower rates cutting rates sooner not having higher rates longer that they thought before and some of that is from the recent economic data we have had. So watching that 13 area uh, below that 11 or that 1138 three year level, or I believe it was the 10 year level that I showed last week, still going to be of importance here. So 13 and 1138 are going to be the levels to watch. Few individual names, coin. What a move here. Uh, it, it's it's brought to you by. If we go into forward slash BTC, which are Bitcoin futures. Strong momentum. This is this is a very strong move. We get this nice wedge, nice break, nice higher low. So obviously when you have Coinbase being related in that sector, it's going to show strength. Nice follow through day here. Watching the long uh, this prior day close of 115.49, I am going to be a targeting that 130 area overhead. Pretty uh, pretty wide move here. I do think we can fill this up into that 130 area. Super strong weekly chart here, holding over this high is key. And on Monday, I'm going to be closely watching that hold of that uh, 115.50 area, 
targeting first to priority high at 116.94 and then 130 being a macro level on the daily chart to keep on watch similar uh, play sector related nice pullback long off of 1091 which is a key hourly region if we do go into the hourly nice reject turned support or support turned reject and then we came in held this on this pullback move on friday anything over uh that move let's go back out here into that daily anything over that uh prior day high around 1161 first targeting 1171 or 77 being key and then a macro level around 1250 which is going to be a big level overhead so keep these two levels on watch going to be of importance here on this coming week uh, one that I'm eyeing to the short or, or to the downside is this bear flag breakdown on SE. Relative weakness on this, I do think below this prior day close around 36.40, 36.38. I am targeting the 52-week uh, lows out of this bear flag breakdown into that 35 area, 34.87. Keeping this one on watch, I do think we can see that breakdown. Anything below that, we do have room lower into i'd say 30 as a macro level this thing's obviously very very weak just getting hammered and we go into the shorter time frame short term bearish watching below that friday prior day close and low to target that 35 region below one more quick amc similar setup uh gap down bear flag flag pattern here below 682 eyeing that short into sub 650 this week that being said, that wraps up our watches for the week. If you did enjoy this video, if you could please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Feel free to check out our team at simplified-investing.com today. We'd love to have you guys on board. Hope you guys have a great weekend and see you all on Monday.